Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how we can measure interaction within PeeWeeGo thanks to Matomo Analytics. Okay, so what is PeeWeeGo? PeeWeeGo is kind of a social network such as Flickr in order for you to upload images having um, some image galleries and then to be able to share them with others. So for example here, I have an image gallery and as you can see, I have several pictures on it and people have the possibility to interact with it, to leave a comment and so on and so forth. So exactly like Flickr, but fully open source under GPL license um, in order to integrate the matomo tracking code within it it's very easy all you need to do is to have a plugin okay so you go here on manage then you add the plugin which is uh, the plugin's name statistics and what is great with this given plugin is that um, the developers the contributors behind PeeWeeGo made things which are great for me because they allow like uh, blank field in which you can copy and paste whatever you want and you have the possibility to insert the code within the header or the footer of the pages or either exclude administrator from the statistic or guess from the statistics so what i did here is i just copy and paste this given a container tracking code that i got from matomo analytics and as a result it has been inserted on every pages of um, the uh, PeeWeeGo gallery. So as a result, every time that I'm visiting my uh, PeeWeeGo uh, property website in Matomo Analytics, I can see all the different interactions that people did. So here, for example, as you can see, every time that I'm looking at a different page, PeeWeeGo is um, Matomo is showing me which page it was in PeeWeeGo. And I'm going to show you that in a minute as well. You can, of course, measure any interaction which is happening here. So as you can see here, all the different pages have been loaded and I know, in fact, uh, which picture I had a look at. OK, and now if I would like to measure the interaction within the page, for example, like measuring the interaction on those uh, given icon, all I need to do in Matomo Analytics is just to add some additional tags in order to define exactly what kind of interaction I would like to measure. So, for example, here, if I would like to track the link, which is called Add to Basket, you see the following link. All I need to do is to define it within Matomo Analytics. So, say, okay, it's going to be an event interaction. Click Add to Basket. And here I just add my trigger, which in my case is the one about the class that I would like to measure. You see, we go stay default we go button and as a result every time that i'm going to interact with this given button so you can have a look over here yep um, okay great so here i get my button you see this is the following button that i'm going to play with and if i go on the following button over here you will see that over here uh, stay default here we go button oh also okay so that's here that's kind of interesting because it means that i miss my uh, class up actually all those different link are doing something different and in fact i'm measuring them with the tag that you can see up here so i made kind of a little mistake but in any cases as you can see all those events are not tracked and sent to matomo so i can just thanks to the dom element grab any interaction that people are going to do on those uh, different links and i will be able afterward to uh, measure that out, right? This is what you can see over here, right? The click add to basket, the one that I just uh, performed right now. And uh, and that's it, in fact. That's everything that I wanted to, whoops, everything that I wanted to show you. So the fact that I click on this given link, yep, so I can go back. I need to go back on the preview mode for you in order to, to see that. By the way, I saw that there's a huge interest of using this given um, preview mode that you can see up here when you have already a question mark so for example if i was doing this okay this it won't work that's the reason why they're telling you okay in some cases you need to use this one because then it's just added as a parameter and as a result now every time i'm going to click on this given link up here you can see all link clicks I get my add to basket, but probably the other one's gonna work as well. Okay, so this is where I need to adapt my tracking code in order to support any given element I'm gonna click on. Okay, and as a result, as you can see, those two additional events have been properly tracked in PeeWeeGo. Okay, those are the two that you can see up here. 
And that's it uh, for the video of today. So once more, thanks to Matumo Tag Manager, you can easily track any interaction which is going to happen on the PeeWeGo gallery, any button, any picture which I've been uh, seeing. You can decide the way that the data will be sent uh, to Matumo and in each uh, report. Um, so in order to practice a little bit more, I strongly advise you to install this plugin named Statistics in here we go and then to deploy the Matomo Tag Manager and start to play uh, with it and measure any interaction that you find is useful for uh, Piwigo. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social network.